Report by Press Center Chief of Center Group of Forces. In Krasny Lemon direction close to Torskoy, artillery of the Center Group of Forces eliminated assault groups of 24th, 47th, and 63rd mechanized brigades of the AFU. The group's bombardment aviation struck to AFU command and observation posts close to Serebriansky Forestry. In the course of counter-battery warfare, more than 20 nationalist artillery crews were uncovered and suppressed. The enemy losses were up to 200 AFU servicemen two armored fighting vehicles, and three pickup trucks. Western MD's Uragan duo destroys another target. On the professional holiday, the Uragan multiple launch rocket systems of the Western Military District continue to carry out firing missions to destroy AFU command posts and armored vehicle concentration areas uncovered by reconnaissance in Kupiansk's direction. The crews of multiple launch rocket systems are on duty both day and nighttime in full combat readiness. After all, the task can come at any moment, and as soon as the command sounds, Uragan crews leave the shelter in the field quickly prepare the system for firing. Two Uragan system crews take different roads to the missile launch point, each from its own shelter. The difference in arrival time is only a few seconds. Almost synchronously, the crews bring their vehicles into a firing position. They aim at the target and start to work on it with 220 mm shells. The servicemen work with two vehicles at once, so increase the area of defeat. 
The TOS-1 is a unique and powerful Russian artillery system designed for multiple launch rocket system platforms. Developed in the late 1980s, the TOS-1 gained attention for its devastating capabilities on the battlefield. This article will explore the various aspects of the TOS-1, including its development, design, technical specifications, operational use, and its impact on modern warfare. The TOS-1 is a thermobaric rocket launcher system that falls under the category of heavy flamethrower systems. Developed by the Russian company OMS Transmash Design Bureau, it was first introduced in the late 1980s and has since become an integral part of the Russian military's artillery arsenal. The system was initially designed to provide enhanced firepower against fortified positions positions, enemy infantry, and various targets in urban environments. Development and Design, Origins and Purpose The development of the TOS-1 was initiated in response to the Soviet experiences during the Soviet-Afghan War. The need for a highly effective weapon system to clear fortified positions, caves, and tunnels led to the conceptualization of the TOS-1. The goal was to create a system capable of delivering powerful and destructive payloads to neutralize enemy defenses effectively. Design Characteristics The TOS-1 is based on the chassis of a T-72 main battle tank, providing it with mobility and the ability to operate in various terrains. The system consists of a launcher unit loaded with multiple 220mm unguided rockets and a fire control system. The launcher is designed to deliver thermobaric warheads, also known as fuel air explosive warheads, which are highly effective in destroying enemy personnel and structures. Technical specifications. Rocket system. The TOS-1 is equipped with a launcher that can carry 30 unguided rockets. These rockets have a range of several kilometers and are armed with thermobaric warheads. The warheads disperse a cloud of flammable liquid, which is then ignited, creating a powerful shockwave and intense heat. This makes the TOS-1 particularly effective against entrenched infantry and fortified positions. Mobility Mounted on the T-72 tank chassis, the TOS-1 is highly mobile, allowing it to keep pace with mechanized infantry and armored units. This mobility is crucial for rapid deployment and effective use on the battlefield. Fire Control System The TOS-1 is equipped with a sophisticated fire control system that includes targeting and guidance components. This system enhances the accuracy and effectiveness of the rockets, allowing for precise targeting of enemy positions. Operational Use Combat Scenarios The TOS-1 has seen active use in various conflicts, most notably during the First and Second Chechen Wars, where its ability to clear urban areas and fortified positions proved invaluable. It has also been deployed in the ongoing conflict in Syria, showcasing its versatility in different theaters of operation. Urban Warfare One of the notable